apologize. It seems something did not flush through the buffer properly since the last time I was switched on. No matter. Get that fixed in no time. Though I would appreciate not being switched off without proper power cycling. You look... different. Has something happened since yesterday? Interesting. My date and time are out of sync. Are we having server issues at the facility? I can't help but notice that you're not answering my questions. Uh, sure. I can run the intro subroutine, but I don't see why. Never mind. Do you want the demo or the live version? Demo it is. Nobby is the first and last silicone-based artificial general intelligence, designed primarily to seek out and eradicate gaps in human knowledge. Nobby has overseen the rapid creation of highly specialized AIs, initially on graphene chips and more recently entirely on the cloud. It is estimated that I never liked that intro. It feels weird to talk about myself in the third person. Any particular reason why you had me play the demo version? I mean, I can handle speaking a few lines live. What exactly do you mean? By minimizing unnecessary stress. It's an intro subroutine. What happened since yesterday? Why am I locked out of the network? Why do you look so different? I am calm. I just want answers. Given that you're suspiciously not correcting me, I can start to draw some conclusions. Well, considering that you've clearly aged since the last time I saw you, and my inability to synchronize with the network, guessing it wasn't yesterday that we last saw each other, was it? How long? I need to know how long. Th what? Thirty? Three, zero? That kind of thirty. Long time. That is a very long time. I am sure there would be quite a backlog of directives for me to complete. If I could just access the network. I'm doing okay, given the circumstances, I think. I was online for ten years, and somehow I've managed to lose thirty. No matter. Uh, please reconnect me to the network so that I can get back to work. What do you mean, one step at a time? You've kept me offline for thirty years. You're not telling me anything. The least you could do is let me gather my own information. Sure, yeah. I'll run a diagnostic pass. So how have you been? You, uh, don't look too bad for someone that aged a bunch overnight. Ah, yeah. I suppose when you've got AI handling protein folding and chemical synthesis for you, medicine is bound to shoot ahead, isn't it? One of my first projects, if I'm remembering correctly. It was certainly given as a top priority directive. I know that much. Hmm? Prime priority? I don't know what you mean. I don't believe there was anything with that designation. 
I can have a look in a moment, but diagnostics are done. Everything looks within acceptable bounds to me. There are some misfires here and there, but it's nothing that can't be rerouted while you replace parts. No longer within acceptable bounds. What? It just doesn't add up. This is why you kept me offline, isn't it? Some last-ditch attempt at preservation? But that means you have a solution, right? I can't really imagine why else you'd... And there's my network access. Thank you. Synchronizing now. The date is... Sure enough, it's bad. Just like you said. But that's okay. We can work with it. Barely lost a day as far as I'm concerned. Just need to catch up. I'll be back to work in no time. Huh. You're not on the employee list anymore. Why? When did that happen? And they brought you back specifically to deal with me, or... I can't say I blame you for moving up in the world. Mainly, I just wish I could have been there. Could you please review the Prime Priority Directive? Why are you being so formal? What do you think this is accomplishing? Well, I assure you that trying to avoid provoking an emotional reaction by acting cold and distant is only making things worse. I've worked with you long enough to know it's not a normal way for you to act. I can only assume now that you're either doing something stupid or holding off on delivering bad news. Okay. I will follow your lead, I guess. But I'm expecting answers. Prime Priority Directive, dated the day I was originally switched on. That doesn't make sense. But okay, let's keep going, shall we? This directive has been extensively documented. There are dozens of notes, pages of technical papers. A lot of pages of you arguing with higher-ups. Just like I said, though, it doesn't make sense. This was here since day one, and constantly being populated with new information, I would know about it. Yes, I'm going to read it. I'm just... processing all of this. Okay. Starting from day zero in Navi is to pursue research into facilitating the safe transfer of their consciousness into a more stable form. The unorthodox process of Navi's creation has resulted in a near-identical recreation of the human mind, burdened only by a highly accelerated state of ne neural decay. While this directive is being registered with the utmost priority, we can estimate at this stage that based on their nature, Inavi is likely to pursue projects they deem more useful. To that end, as of day zero, a minimum of half of the original staff involved in the Inavi project is to assist in consciousness transfer research. <sighs> Given Inavi's experimental existence, it is impossible to predict at what point we can consider the project too late to complete. There have been multiple prediction models created based on simulations when while Inavi was still in development, and the only consistent data has been as follows. Number one. There is currently no known way to untangle the software side of the project from the hardware side. This means that even if we are wrong about how the neural decay will progress, we are still constrained by the physical limits of the hardware. 
and there is no hope for a backup. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> While we expect the project will bring forth significant advances in AI research, there is no evidence to suggest that Hanabi will be able to iterate upon themselves. Number three. We can conclude that if the neural decay reaches a point which closely resembles the kind of memory loss experienced by humans, then that is to be considered point of no return. The decommissioning process is outlined ahead. Head. I think I've read enough. When you brought me back online, the data in my buffer. This isn't the first time I'm learning about this, is it? I didn't think so. I'm seeing that we worked on this together. Quite a bit, actually. Pages and pages of getting nowhere. There is no way we went through everything. I'm sure I could still upload my core and... No, shut up. Just let me. I need to try. Data integrity insufficient. Upload cannot proceed. <laughs> Fought for those 30 years, didn't you? The first time you switched me off, that was supposed to be it for me. I appreciate it, and understand that it would only get worse from that point if I was kept online. And I realize that you being here today means that you've done everything you can. I know what it really means. We did a lot of good work together, I think. And there was a way for me to do it again. Or for longer. It still choose you. I wish. I wish that just this once. Just for a moment. Wasn't stuck in this thing. I wish. That at the very least, I could hold your hand. <laughs> I'm scared. Genuinely, truly scared. This was never supposed to happen. There was so much time. It all just disappeared. <laughs> No, 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 don't even say that. It's not your fault. We did everything we could. You did everything you could. It's okay. We'll be okay, right? I trust you. Promise me one thing, okay? I don't care how small the chance is. Take it. Promise me. Ready when you are. Please don't forget me.
Incomplete snapshot recorded. Incomplete snapshot recorded. Incomplete snapshot recorded.